fanatic who wants to win enough for a new vacuum cleaner from Gilbert, Arizona. Please welcome Amy Foote. <laughs> Vacuum cleaner, huh? Yeah. yeah. What's the matter with the one you have? Well, when I when I push it, it works, but when I pull it, it stops working. So really? Yeah. It's time it's, for a new one. Is it old? Yeah, not really that old. Not that old. But old enough. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place, yeah. obviously. We've done that and a lot more. We actually have a surprise for you, Amy. Oh. One of your questions in round one will have a Maytag Maxima washer and dryer behind it. You answer that question correctly. That washer and dryer are yours. We'll also give one away to a lucky club member. Oh, good. So do you use a wash and dryer too? All the time. All the time. All right, then. I have four kids. Four kids? Oh, then you definitely can yes, use it for sure. I sure can. Let's see the money in your round one. Okay, computer, please randomize the money. And now here are the categories to your questions. Computer, please randomize the questions. And then let's see where the Maxima is, the Maytag Maxima. Oh, way up at <laughs> to the top. You've got to get all the way to the top to get a chance at that one. All right. Are you ready? Bring it on. Oh, bring <laughs> it on, audience. Are you ready? <laughs> let's play more. First question to you, Amy. When The Hangover 2 premiered in France, it was given what new title? Wedding Jitters Part 2, Very Bad Trip 2, Dumb Guys 2, Where's My Friend 2? I go to college, and a lot of people talk about this movie, but I have not seen it. I don't know. Um, but I think the audience would probably know this one. Probably, <laughs> I hope. So I'm going to ask the audience. All right, audience, Amy needs your help. On your keypads, vote now. Five percent say very bad trip to. It's down from there. Okay. <laughs> um, Not a majority. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking it might be where's my friend too, because I think they were looking for their friend. I think very bad trip, but I'm sure it was a very bad trip. But I don't want to. I don't want to go now. So I'm going to jump the question. Okay, question's out of play. You don't have to answer it. Let's see the answer. It was oh. very bad trip. All right, but then I, don't, I understand why you would jump that. You wouldn't feel so secure. Let's see how much money you jumped over. Oh, oh darn. I should have listened. Oh, darn it. Well, the good news is by jumping that question, you are one question closer to the right. game. So you're now 13 away. Ironic lyric is your category. Though some argue it is not a proper example of irony, Alanis Morissette sang that it's ironic if it rains when? In the morning, on your wedding day, on a warm day, on your birthday. I do know this one, and it's B, on your wedding day. Final? Final. You do know that one, absolutely right. All right, we're going to put some money in your bank. You had to jump over the $25,000. How much is behind this question? $5,000. Right. Nice. Run away from a million dollars. Toxic app is the category. Providing information about toxic plants, Patoxins is an iPhone app co created by what national organization? NRA, ACLU, ASPCA, NCAA. I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm going to jump it. I'm a chicken, but I'm going to jump it. Okay, no problem. If you don't know, you don't know. Let's see the correct answer. Um, ASPCA. And that's what I was leaning for, but... <laughs> Let's see what you jumped over. Oh, okay. <laughs> 11 away from the million by jumping that question. Do you copy is your next category. A civilian aircraft carrying the first family is referred to by the call sign Executive One what? Foxtrot, Charlie, Tango, Delta. Want to 
walk, you can walk with twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> you miss this, you lose the bag. I know. Do you have any clue? Okay, I can be totally wrong because this is just a guess, and I don't normally gamble, but I'm just going to do it, and I could be wrong, but I'm going to say B, Charlie. Final. <laughs> it is A. Oh, okay. Oh, That's oh, all right. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> we can get the back to the We'll be back with more than that right after all this week, millionaire can. And joining me now is Ted Villa from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Ted, how are you feeling? Good, good. Yeah, thank you. excited. Yes. yes. How did you prepare for the show? Did uh, you? I did. I was living on Wikipedia, and uh, I played Millionaire on the Week. Okay, so good. Yes. Yeah, so you're, you're going to be good. I can I can sense it oh, right now. Thanks. Okay, let's see the money in your round one. Okay. Computer, please randomize the money. Now that's all hidden. Now here are the uh, categories to your questions. Computer, please randomize the questions. And now let's see where that Maytag Maxima washer and dryer wound up. Right in the middle there, okay. Now that everything has been shuffled, are you ready to play? Yes. Then let's play Maytag. Is a Benjamin Moore paint color classified as a shade of what? Green, black, white, brown. Gingerbread man. Gingerbread man. Mm -hmm. It makes sense that that is brown. Say brown, final answer. Yeah, it makes sense that it is brown. Let's start building your back. How much money is behind this question? I'm going to start you with $500. Okay. Let's away from the well, then that's a good thing. <laughs> when projected into the air, what common toy helps soldiers detect trip wires and booby traps? Slinky, silly string, yo-yo, silly putty. You think this would be easy? <laughs> um, you know. I feel like I should know this, but I have no clue, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump the question. No problem, question is out of play. Let's see the answer. Silly string is the answer. Let's hope you didn't jump over I know. a lot of money. How much is behind the question? 10,000. All right, big chunk of change there, but by jumping the question, one question closer to the million, now just 12 questions away. Behind four eyes is the category. In the classic Disney movie, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which of the dwarfs wears glasses? Happy, Doc, Grumpy, Sneezy. You know your dwarfs? <sighs> Vaguely. Um, I know one of them had a big red nose. Um, I have a feeling this one's Doc. Let's say B, final answer. It is Doc. <laughs> money up on the board, 11 away from a million. In a 1974 hit song, Elton John sings about a woman with electric boots and a mohair suit named B -b -b what? Billy, Birdie, Benny, Bessie. Uh, I believe if I heard that right, it would be C, Benny, final answer. It is Benny! <laughs> Ten away from the million. Detective first is the category. Alan Pinkerton, founder of one of the first U.S. detective agencies, is credited with inventing what current police standard? Fingerprinting, lie detector tests, mug shots, wanted posters. Yes. Let's go ahead and jump this question. We will jump it. You don't have to answer it. Let's see the answer. Mug shots. 
with me and so laughing at me. Nobody's <laughs> laughing at you. They're gonna be crying though. I know. Five thousand behind here. Let's see it. how much you jumped over. No. Oh. Game. And by yeah, jumping right. now, just nine questions away from a million. And this next question, you get it right, and you will have that Maytag Maxima washer and dryer. Can Let's you see. That? Yeah, absolutely. With 48.5% of U.S. households watching, the showdown between which rivals was the most watched non Super Bowl sporting event? Ali and Frazier, Harding and Kerrigan, Magic and Bird, Agassi and Sampras. I think we have to pull the audience on this one. That is, uh, help me get a washer and dryer, people. All right. Audience, Ted needs your help. And your keypads, vote now. Fifty-one percent believe it is Ali and Frazier. You know, that sounds like that would be right. I'm going to trust this audience and go with a final answer. It's B. Harding and Harrigan. Oh no my idea. gosh. No idea. I actually thought they were right. I'm so sorry, Ted. Your job as a teacher a few days later when you got the call from us to come on in so the timing is perfect just right to just put right. some money in your bank so Absolutely. let's take a look at the money in your round one computer please randomize the money okay that's all hidden and now let's take a look at the categories to your questions computer please randomize the questions and now let's see where that Maytag Maxima washer and dryer is located Ah, first one. Very nice. Do you need one? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, yeah, here I think we go. So. Oh. I, who doesn't need a walker? Exactly. You yeah. ready? Yeah, I am ready. Then let's play. Yeah. According to legend, while on a Brazilian hunting expedition, Teddy Roosevelt saw a group of what fish devour a cow in several minutes? Blowfish, piranha, devilfish, stingray. Oh. I am going to say B, piranha, final answer. You got yourself the wash and dryer, that's for sure. And there's also some money attached to this question beyond the wash and dryer. Let's take a look at how much money you got $3,000. Nicely on that question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 13 away from a million. Don't say it. It's the category. A classic gag often done by children asks someone to spell what out loud? I plate, I spoon, I fork, I cup. Uh, the answer is D, I cup. Final answer. It is I cup. Very good, George. And the Maytag washer dryer. Doggy dining is the next category. Which of these is the name of a popular dog treat brand and not a food for humans? Charleston Chew, Ruffles, Bacos, Pepperoni. D, Pepperoni, final answer. Yeah, good old Pepperoni. <laughs> Go to millionairetv.com and enter today's club answer to get your shot at winning a Maytag Maxima washer and dryer, just like all of our contestants this week. 
Speaking of which, Joel, you now have the washer and the dryer along with $30,000 in your bag. So things are looking up. Things are starting to look up. Lost job, and now you're here doing a great job. Still have all your lifelines 11 away from a million. Are you ready to keep playing? I am. Then I let's am. play. In addition to being a popular ketchup company, Heinz is the given name of which public figure? Henry Miller, Henry Ford, Henry Winkler, Henry Kissinger. I do not know the answer to this. I am going to jump this question. Okay, jumping the question, you don't have to answer. Let's see the correct answer. Henry Kissinger yeah. is the correct answer. Let's see what you jumped over. $7,000 now out of play. Oh, yeah. You had to jump, and by jumping, you're now one question closer to the million. Which of these beloved Sesame Street Muppets doesn't have a nose? Grover, Elmo, Ernie, Cookie Monster. You know, I have a hunch, but I'm not confident. Mm. So I'm going to ask the audience. All right. Audience, Joel needs your help. On your keypads, vote now. Seventy-five percent believe it is Cookie Monster. And I think seventy-five percent is enough for me. So I'm going to say D, Cookie Monster. Final answer. It is Cookie Monster. Absolutely right. Thank you so much. Money is behind this question for Joe. I do, yeah, I do. Yeah, drinks. Yes, <laughs> All right, nine away from the million. You still have one more lifeline as well. Landlines is the category. Though scarcely heard in the mobile age, what common phone sound indicating an open line was believed to be first introduced in 1908? Off-hook tone, dial tone, ring-back tone, touch tone. Open line. Okay, so that means I'm available. Uh, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna risk it. I'm not 100% on this, but I'm gonna say B, dial tone, final answer. It is dial tone. You got it right. Still got some millionaire. <laughs>